So hello everyone, I am Shyamman back again with another video. Today in this video we will be talking about constructors and how can we use it in a program with classes. And in the previous video I have shown you that how to create objects and how to create mul uh, multiple objects and have use it in course class in one class. And so let's create a constructor. So there is a hard and fast rule that uh, the name of the constructor should be equal as the name of the class so we should define the constructor like this and in dart if you are creating a constructor then i should recommend you that you should create the object name as with new and let me comment this out i don't need it for now and i want to tell you that you can use it i would like to recommend you and if you're not using a constructor then don't use a new keyword for that okay because new keyword is actually initializing the constructor okay and construct is basically used to define the def default values for the instance variable and these are called the instances variable which are defined uh, inside the class okay that is the id and name and price that is the fields and properties so there are two types of constructors the one is default mainly two types there are many types mainly two types default constructor and parameter risk constructor so we'll be talking about these two and the most important one is the parameters parameter risk constructor so as we can uh, go by the name that is default construct is, is used to default take the default values and parameter risk constructor is used to initialize the instance variable with the parameterized value I think you can get the feel what I'm going to uh, what I'm telling to you and when you are creating this object the con the constructor is initial uh, is initialized okay and the statement uh, and any of the statement which is there in the block will get executed just like if I take that ID which is defined in line 3 if I uh, initialized with zero and then I, I would like to print it that the the ID is then I, I can give ID and uh, let's run run our program and let me zoom in okay and then CD oops then dart demo dot dart dart space demo dot dart is the command to, uh, to run dart programs and then we must hit enter the id is zero as you can see i have initialized the id with zero you can give custom id also that uh, i equals to one and then you can do i plus plus that is the more the ob uh, objects are created and the constructors are initialized the id will get incremented and if you are in a bank then your bank number is given by the bank okay so there are some default things that we should always provide so there so that's why constructor is there to give the default things that a minimum number of things are necessary for our program to complete the task so that's why constructor is used so this is the concept of default constructor after that we will move into parameterized constructor which is the most important one let's talk about it Parameter is constructor means that you need to pass parameters here. Okay, and we have mainly two parameters which we can pass that is name and price. I'm not talking about ID here. So you should give string name, comma, string price as a parameter. And you, I think you have got a tweaky line here because the, uh, it is expecting parameter here. So let me comment this out huh. let me comment this out because we don't need it now because we will be passing the names directly through here okay so let's parameterize now the value and you can give it like now uh, which is previously there dart and comma the price you can give 199 and see the tweaky line is gone because we have resolved the error because in the constructor we are passing dart and 199 and it is taking 
dot and 189 here and now i need to initialize the name and price okay which are the instance variable so for referring the instance variable so we need to use the this keyword that this dot name and here this dot name name refers to the uh, uh, variable name which is there in the line number four equals to name now this name refers to the variable name nine i think this much is clear to you and uh, and the same way this dot price which is there in the line number four is equal to price in line number nine okay we have initialized we have initialized the instance variable with the parameterized constructor i think this much is clear now and then we can print or do something okay and the course is live and now let's run this program and i think you should get the correct one and you you should get dart is now live at a price of 199 okay 100 dollars so let's run it let's zoom in yep and then run it see dart is now live at a price of 199 now i want to do that with the case of java 2 so let's do it yep uh yeah done and then i will create new and I, I want to pass java and now i want to specify a price also that is 299 let's say and uh, uncomment this one too and i want to remove this no uh, let's leave it let's keep it like this uh, and now let's run it and i should guess no sorry i should get uh, java is now live at a price of 199 and no dart is now live at a price of 199 and java is now live at a price of 299 you can now see dart is now live at a price of 199 and java is now live at a price of 299 so this much for this video and in the next video we'll be talking about getters and setters which is a very important topic for dart and flutter and you will need getters and setters while uh, doing some work with database like firebase and uh, sq flight so stay tuned and i hope you are enjoying this course we have a whatsapp group too if you have any kind of doubt just join there the chat link will be there in the, in the description and i have been uploading these files in the in my in a in my github repository as uh, named as exercise files i will link down in the description so go and check it out and you will get all the code there and i would like to suggest you that please do live code with me as i am going through the video just code with me so that we can get a better understanding and if you have any kind of problem please comment down and if you like this video then give it a thumbs up share this video with your friends and click, uh, subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribing yet and click the bell icon and i hope to see in the next video bye bye for now